What's up, y'all? This is Chris with No Limit Squad, your personal ISO chain and fitness vlogging channel. Remember that video we did a couple months back on cortical inhibition and what that was? So we're gonna revisit that today. And if you're unfamiliar with what cortical inhibition is, here's a link to that right here. Definitely wanna go check that out because isometric training and cortical inhibition are almost synonymous, unfortunately, but we're gonna go over that. Here's a basic definition of cortical inhibition. The video goes into more detail though. But basic definition, it's our brain's capacity to turn down the dial on muscle power for safety. So it's pretty much our body's way of saving us from ourselves, which is actually just pretty cool. I love that stuff. Loading reflexes, which is uh, the main focus of what we're gonna talk about today, and it has everything to do with the ISO chain, everything to do. And if you're not familiar, you definitely want to pay attention to this loading reflex video. Okay, loading reflex is our nervous system's ability to suppress cortical inhibition and recruit more motor units to to vastly increase our strength. Remember, using the ISO chain daily gives us superhuman gains up to 5% every single time we use it. That is insane. You know what 5% daily is? That's 25% stronger in absolute strength in five days. In five days, it almost sounds like I'm lying. Like, it's just, it's crazy. I don't know, I just love the nerdy stuff. I love, I love talking about this stuff. Loading reflex goes deep. Here are the four levels to it, just so that we are all on the same page because we need to know how this works. The more we know, the farther we go, and it's really important to know that because with isometric training, certain styles of it, um, you get a lot of cortical inhibition. All right, so the four levels are loadless, self-resistance, right? So self-resistance is just pushing against our own body. Uh, think Charles Atlas. So static state, think trying to push against the wall. Obviously you're not gonna move a wall because it's a wall, but you're trying to push it. That is called st static state loading reflex. And then the last one is live resistance loading reflex. So you can think of that as your ISO chain for sure, because you're getting live resistance throughout the whole pool because you can see the number being read in real time. When we talk about loading reflex, a really good example is using the chain. So here in this photo, you can see this beast of a man, his name is Alexander Zass. I'm gonna do a video on him soon because just the amount of things that he was able to do. He's a prisoner of war who escaped by pulling the bars off his jail cell open and walking out. What? What is this, Marvel and DC? Like, like what is that right now? But it happened, and it happened multiple times. It's just, it's crazy. It's crazy, isometric strength is crazy. Chain training, this guy was able to carry a horse over his head, but he started with just pulling the chain. If you can see him, like his foot is on a chain right there and he's just really pulling it and getting all of this functional strength, all of this isometric strength. That is called loadless. There is no load, it's just a chain. You're getting stronger, you can feel it. Um, it's, it's similar to the uh, video I dropped of what is the ISO chain. If you haven't seen that video, here's a link to it right here. I'm just kind of going over what it is, but in the beginning of the video, I referenced the OG ISO chain when it was being sold originally, and it took the market by storm because people felt it, people felt that it was working and they, they knew it was working, but there were, it was loadless. We couldn't actually see how much stronger we were getting. We just felt how much stronger we were getting. So people back in the day were like, yo, this works, but we don't really know how effective it is. So, uh, you know, we use it for a couple months and we're just like, yo, this is boring. That's pretty much what they came to. That's why the OG ISO chain, you know, right here, I mean, it works, but you don't really know like how much effort to apply. Yes, it's convenient, but there's no loading reflex and there's no measurability on it. So it's just, it's not useless, it has its place, but the ISO chain is far, far superior. Out of the four loading reflexes, I'd say honestly, the best bang for your buck would be to get a power rack. The power rack in this video, I mean, you can gain tremendous power because there's a loading reflex. You can add weight, so you know that Obviously, it's, it's set to a weight where you're not supposed to be able to move it, hence the isometric nature of the power rack. That's what they originally designed for. That's why in those little circles on the side of the, uh, the power rack, you slide the bar in and the bar cannot move. That's what those circles are for. A lot of people think it's just a glorified squat rack. No, that's for isometric power. That's what those strong men are using to get like freakishly strong. That's what they're using. So yes, loading reflex is there. Measurability, because you can measure how much weight is on there just by simply adding and subtracting weight. So it's there. Is it convenient? Hell no, do you know how much that weighs? You can't just transport that big ass box somewhere easily and you know and then you gotta move the weights around as well it's good but it's very cumbersome is it effective 
Yes. Another good example of a loading reflex, the bull worker. So the bull worker is this device that I found in 2017 when I was first interested in isometrics and I started to look into this stuff because I just didn't understand. I don't know, I was just looking into Bruce Lee like why was that little 135 pound man so freaking strong? So as I was looking through like all images of him on the clock at my old job, hey, the truth comes out always. I was like, what's that springy thing he's using? So I went and looked it up. It used to be called the tensilator. Later got introduced, it's called the bull worker now. Very good. You know, I'm gonna have a video on this at some point. Wow, I could push that in a lot farther than before. Wow. Iso chain power, baby. This has its place. It definitely has loading reflex. Definitely has loading reflex. It's very convenient because, I mean, look at the size of it. It's very portable, but there's no measurability. Now, at first, I was like, of course it has measurability. There's a little um, slider here which shows how much, I don't know if y'all can see it here, um, where it shows how much force you, you've uh, pushed into it. It goes from zero all the way up to 120. So right now it's zero. I'm gonna show you real quick. <clears throat> wow. When I say I wasn't able to do that, Yo, I just got over 120. Yo, this ISO chain stuff is crazy. I wasn't doing that with the bulwark. Oh, I gotta, I'm making a, a different video on this and I might have a collab. Yeah, so I just pushed a, a 120 on here, over 120 uh, with the bulwarker because of the ISO, dude, this the ISO chain. I haven't touched this bulwarker in almost two years. Sucks about it though, is the measurability is not really, it's not really true. Why? Because of Hooke's Law. The harder you push against the spring, the tougher it is. So it's not just, it's not just linear, it gets exponentially harder the more you push. So it's not like, okay, I pushed a 10, and then I pushed a 20, and then I pushed a 30, and then I pushed a 40. It's like 10, 20, 40, 80, 160. Does that make sense? That type of, now not exactly like that, but you understand, you understand what I'm trying to say, right? That's how it is. So it's not really accurate. The number 120 is not really 120. It's just a number on a piece of plastic. Does that make sense or steel, whatever. False measurability. But I can see why Bruce Lee was interested in that. Definitely could see why he was interested in that, especially for back in the day. This and the OG ISO chain that was being sold. I mean, those are two, those are two amazing products for back in the day. The only thing is, again, there was no freaking measurability. And in particular, again, for the, the, uh, the bull worker, it's uh, because of Hooke's Law. So it just gets exponentially harder the more you compress the spring inside, which leaves it to the ISO chain, which checks all three measurability because we have the, uh, the force display up to 999.9 pounds, so pretty much a stack. We have loading reflex and we have convenience. It checks all three, it's definitely portable. You can bring it anywhere, it just is great, it's great. Like I said in, the, in my first video, the display changed the whole game of the isometric. It changed the whole game, which is personally why I think that is worth the money. I just, that alone made it worth the money. Let alone that we're all getting results from it. I mean, my knees have never felt better, but y'all have already seen that video. Out of the four, loadless, self-resistant, static state, and live resistance. Live resistance, in my opinion, is the best one, with static state being number two. Loadless and self-resistance, like, I don't know. I mean, I guess if, if the whole world went to shit, right? I'd probably go with static state still. Self-resistance like the Charles Atlas stuff and just pushing against your own body. I mean, it has its place. I definitely wouldn't be weak if we all went into a cataclysmic world ending scenario. It'd probably be a mix between self-resistance and static state. I probably wouldn't mess with loadless. I probably wouldn't mess with that to be honest because again, there's no measurability. So it's like, yes, I'm pulling on this chain in the middle of the woods, but like, am I pulling hard enough? I don't know. But loadless, the cortical inhibition is so high because we just don't know. And with the self-resistance, it's still high because I don't know. It's like, hey, am I pushing against my, you know, I feel it in my pec right now. I feel it in my right shoulder right now. It's like, yeah, it is a great self-resistance. I know you can get stronger that way, but am I pushing? Pushing hard enough? I don't know. The cortical inhibition is high. The static state pushing against the wall. The cortical inhibition is medium. Yeah, I can push hard into this tree trunk real quick, but it's like, am I, again, am I pushing hard enough? There is no readout. I don't know 
how hard I'm pushing. There's no number. And for those three, again, the loading reflex for the load list. So let's say the chain again. I'm stepping on the chain. I'm trying to pull the chain out and I'm stepping, I'm stepping on it. I just, I don't know. Self-resistance, the loading reflex is low. It's, it's bad. Your body doesn't know to recruit more motor units. It's like, yeah, I'm pushing, but it's like, my body's like, oh, should I stop it? I don't know because it's live resistance. I don't know. Can you get strong with that? Yes, but there's too many bad factors at play to really make it super efficient. So then again, like I said a couple minutes ago, if the world went to an end and I didn't have the ISO chain, I'd probably go with this static state one. So pushing against the tree in the forest. That's probably what I would end up doing because out of the four, I mean, live resistance is the best one by far. The loading reflex is, eh, it's all right. And the cortical inhibition is, eh, it's all right, but it's not great. Because again, like pushing into it, you can really tell that you're working out. You can really tell that you're working out, but it's, you still don't have anything to tell you how well you're doing. But live resistance, I mean, you, you just check mark so well. The yield, AKA yielding, yielding isometrics, all right? I mean, it's just so good. The fact that you could do yielding and overcoming on the ISO chain is just insane. It's just ridiculous, all right? But you get with, with live resistance, you get access to both. You know that if your arms are like just suffering after 10 seconds holding a 25 pound dumbbell in the barbell, in the, in the dumbbell, bicep curl position, you know that 20 pounds is good for you right now until it gets easier, then you start to mess with the 25. There's a loading reflex, does that make sense? The cortical inhibition barely exists because you know what you're working with. So your mind is like, yo, I can work with this because I, I see the number and I see how much I'm working with. So that's why the ISO chain is just so high on, I mean, it's so high. I would probably put the bull worker at number two though, if the ISO chain didn't exist. The only thing that sucks again, you can't really you can't really hit legs though like that. You can't really hit back. I mean, you can with the whole, you know what I mean? You can hold it like that, but it's still it's still more of a I don't know. They have a whole set of of exercises on the bull worker. When I go into this, it's going to be a whole video. All right, I'm just minorly hitting on this right now. This is a good product. Don't ever misunderstand me. This is a great product. In fact, there's a YouTuber, Machisimo. I subscribed to him almost three years ago. What's up, boy? Like this, it's a great product. I mean, I feel it when I use this. I feel, I can't believe I'm able to. Ah! Yo, I loved it. By the way, that was the ISO chain that did that, not the bull worker, but it's crazy. It's crazy. It, it's a very effective product, but the ISO chain just beats it out. I mean, it just, it does. Just the amount of stuff you're able to do. I mean, it's just, it's gotta be. It is what it is, man. It's just, a, it's a Ferrari to a Toyota Supra, man. It is what it is. No shade, no shade. Hopefully this makes sense. Your four loading reflexes, just so we know what they are. Loadless, self-resistance, static state, and live resistance. Go for that live resistance. It gives you the best feedback in order to use and utilize progressive overload, which is what we need to get better in this fitness game. I, I feel like this was way long-winded, but hopefully this made sense. If not, drop a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like it, be sure to drop a like as well. And if you're not yet part of the No Limit Squad, come join this No Limit Squad. Get that ISO chain. Yo, let's blow up together. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.